Hey what's up welcome to the internet abundance podcast and in today's podcast you're going to learn five ways or five tips to make your brand stand out online and hi this is Santosh Eti here and I'm a internet abundance entrepreneur and I help working professionals achieve freedom by helping them build a profitable business online so if you're someone who's stuck with the daily grind of life then I highly highly recommend that you follow my podcast because this podcast is going to have tips tutorials on building a business on the internet okay then let's get to the episode all right the first thing is going to be creating a brand strategy so when you're building a personal brand on the internet you need to position yourself properly you got to have a very strong strong honest and authentic backstory of who you were why you got into this how you began and where you are right now and one of the reason for this backstory is to create a emotional connect with your audience when you're building a personal brand it's very important you need to connect emotionally with your audience if you don't connect emotionally then your brand is going to fail so work on a very strong back story and yeah most important thing is don't lie be honest be authentic people are going to connect with you so based on your back story create a vision and a mission statement for your company and second thing would be create a world class brand identity So when we are talking about brand identity there are a lot of elements to it the most important thing would be brand colors that is the kind of colors that you use based on your business niche every business niche has colors associated with it psychologically so make sure you do your research and find out what are the colors that you can use for your business niche similarly fonts even fonts there are different kinds of font which can evoke certain kind of emotions from your audience so choose your fonts carefully depending on what kind of business you are into and then the brand logo don't settle for a very basic logo you know nowadays there are a lot of websites out there where you can create professional logos without spending a lot even uh, if you go to any of these freelance websites you'll be able to create uh, you will be able to hire a freelancer who will be able to create a great looking logo for a very low cost that is if you are in a budget if you have a budget then you know uh, you can always uh, uh, hire a professional uh, designer to make a great logo done having said that you can always try uh, free uh, logo makers online you can try canva canva has lot of templates where you'll be able to create logos and there is another software that i mean a uh, online tool that i had used it is called luka l o o k a okay you can try that out as well so these places you'll get a fair idea of how your logo is going to look and it's going to give you some inspirations on uh, uh, how your logo is going to be so based on that you can either finalize a logo right there or you can uh, you know create a logo based on some of these options that you have got and the fourth thing is build a world class website this is like there is no excuse to building a very shabby website your website has to look good because this is your digital home and whenever somebody goes to your website right if the website is not good they will not even look at your product they will just close out of it don't let customers or your audience judge you or your product even before they try your product or even before they you know go through your content just because your designs are bad on your website don't do that so make sure you have a professional website built you can do it either by outsourcing or you can even build it on your own it's very easy to build website nowadays there are a lot of these drag and drop tools that you can use to build i personally use wordpress and uh, elementor pro okay the third thing is going to be be authentic and unique this is extremely important don't try to be somebody you are not don't if you are following somebody online and if you like them don't try to be them you know be yourself because that is unique nobody is like you in this world you are the only person who can be you so uh, be as unique as possible and uh, however you know you talk to your friends or your colleagues or anybody that you come across right keep that same energy and you know talk talk the same way don't try to uh be over enthusiastic or uh, too energetic or anything on a call or, i mean on a podcast or on a youtube video because what can happen is you will have to maintain that after that because people will be connecting with you looking at your energy right so don't try to be someone else it can create a lot of confusion and it's going to create a lot of stress to you as well because to maintain that energy 
so be yourself be authentic the way you are that is more than enough there are a lot of people in this world who will be able to connect with you uh, the way you are okay so stay authentic and unique and the fourth one is build a powerful support system you can create a support system by having your own private uh, groups uh, one would be facebook group you can have a telegram group or whatsapp group and you can have a linkedin group or you can also have uh, your own uh, member platform if you if that is the kind of business that you're building then create a member platform have a forum there and support whoever is in your system whoever has purchased products from you if they have any questions if they have any doubts make sure you answer every single one of them okay so support like this uh, can go a long way in building trust in um, trust in the online world and the fifth one would be create success stories and make a difference out there so you can talk about yourself and your brand and your product as much as you want but when someone else talks about it online about you that has more weightage and that is super super powerful so create success stories help people get what they want and when you have more people talking about you your business will automatically grow so these are the top 5 tips to make your brand stand out online there are many more if you want to add but these are the top 5 when you are building a personal brand online when you're building a startup or when you're building a business for a physical product or something like that you know there might be additional things that you need to do but what you have learnt in this podcast is for you when you are going to build a business for yourself and if you have not started building a business online but you would like to you are fed up with the daily grind of life and you want to achieve freedom then uh, there is a way to do it i call it internet abundance business So uh, what you can do is you can enroll into one of my free webinars it is called uh, the web- link to my webinar would be san2.me forward slash register i'll also leave that in the description it's san s a n number 2 dot me m e forward slash register okay so you can go ahead and register and sign up to the webinar for free and you can meet me live there and uh, i will be uh, Uh, revealing the secrets of internet abundance business over there and not just that i will also uh, share some cool gifts with you just for being part of that webinar all right so if you got value from this podcast give me a like and a five stars and share it with someone who will find this useful and follow the internet abundance podcast in any of the music podcasting platforms out there So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. This is Santosh Shetty here from the Internet Abundance Podcast. Have a wonderful day my friend. See you soon.